Welcome to Doc Nation. Welcome back, guys. Jarrell here. And I'm Josh. And today we're here to talk about World Beyond and a possible tie-in to The Fear of the Walking Dead. And you're like, what? A tie-in to Fear of the Walking Dead? How is that possible when Fear of the Walking Dead is over six years behind World Beyond? How can that be possible? Well, that's what we're here to talk about because I we've been thinking about it. We mentioned it in a previous video. Could there be more? We won't know. But let's go over just a little bit of what the showrunner had to say about it. Yep. So recently, the showrunner did an art, uh, interview with Insider, and they, he was asked, will World Beyond tie into any other two shows by its series finale? And the showrunner, Matt Negregi, said, Walking Dead World Beyond will have a small tie-in by the series finale. He says, there is something with fear that could be a little bit of a tie-in towards the end. I won't give too much away. It's something that isn't a huge thing, but it really is something else that we put into the end to make sure that it really felt like we're honoring the connectivity between all three shows. The CRM, it's a larger organization, but they are not so large that different soldiers may or may not even know each other. Now, this article was released before Fear the Walking Dead's premiere. Um, So a lot of this article was talking about, you know, could... Could um, could Isabel show up and maybe World Beyond? Could it be a tie-in maybe with uh, somebody knowing, you know, maybe Isabel knows Jadis or Jadis knows somebody. But now that we've been into both shows and we know that recently Isabel and Al are going off on their own adventure, I don't know what it could be. Because if Isabel does show up in World Beyond, then we know that either they're she, captured, either they're captured she left Al and went back. Maybe both her and Al are trying to sneak back in and find some story out because of Al. Um, that I, would be awesome, actually. I, I don't know. You know, could it or be, it could be just a quick reference to a pilot defecting? It could be that, and I think they would use the word pilot. Um, yeah. They wouldn't call Isabella Isabel. I keep saying Isabel. Yeah. They wouldn't call Isabel out by name. Right. I don't, I don't think. I, I mean, don't think either. Um, yes, other soldiers might know other soldiers but like there's no context for a conversation to come up and be like uh we already had isabel you know whatever defect like that Mm -hmm. just doesn't make any sense so right um you know we obviously have a lot of people trying to defect from the crm right now so Mm -hmm. there could be that conversation between like a huck and jadis of you know this isn't the first time we've had someone defect Mm -hmm. we had a pilot Years right. ago, to fact, that I think that would be the perfect thing. So, you know, unless people ask, I was going to mention that I don't think it would be anything regards to Jadis would know who Isabel was either, because yeah. at the time Rick was taken, Fear the Walking Dead were, were was still months behind that event in season five. So it hadn't, you know, and Isabel, you know, Jadis wasn't in part of the CRM as of yet. The reason that she was in the junkyard and gathering people the A's and B's, most of the A's for research, was that she was paying off her dues to be able to join the CRM. And we know why she was able to join. In her words, she gave them something very very yeah. valuable. Um, so I think you're absolutely right. I think it will be Isabel related, but it will be like Jadis will say, look, th- these people trying to defect these doctors, you know, we had this, I, I was aware of an issue that your mother told me six years ago of a pilot defecting in one of our Texas zones or something yeah. to that. You know what I'm saying? It'd be something cool she, like that. She could say small. something like, uh, you know, uh, this has only happened one other time. Right. You know, and According really, your and, mother, and yeah. really show the power of the CRM as far mm-hmm. as like you don't defect. Yeah. Um, th- we like, they could even talk about the reclamation team and say, we've had to send a reclamation team out before. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh you know, yeah. They could do that. They could reference that team instead of directly referencing Isabel. Right. That'd be cool. Yeah, we had a ref- we had a reclamation team, two reclamation teams show or because didn't Jadis call the reclamation team in the last episode? <sighs> no, no, that was um, security. That was just lockdown. a security lockdown. Yeah, yeah to, to find yeah. them through the tunnels. But uh, yeah, that could be that could work as well. You know, they can mention you know we lost a, uh, a reclamation team in our Texas area. Uh, years ago that never came back due to a defector or something to that aspect and as you know once we said as we said the showrunner said it's a small tie-in it's it's nothing major yeah. due to the time the timeline difference but something to that effect you know just so as he said to pay honor and homage to all three shows since the crm has shown up in all three shows yep so 
nothing major, but something really cool to think about. I was, I was trying to rack my brain as to like what else could it be if it's if it's nothing if it's not related to Isabel. There's no other characters. There's no other soldiers because they have their helmets on. But you can just mention uh, an event that happened in Texas that you they knew they still know about that they reference, like you said, a nuclear blast. So I mean, Ooh. look, th 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 that could be referenced too. I mean, that would be good. There, there could just be a conversation, and who knows who? It could be between General Beale and we. We could have still have a scene with General Beale and Lieutenant Kublik, and mm. you know, Beale is pretty much saying to Kublik, "Look, we don't send teams to Texas anymore. Mm -hmm. Here's why: we've lost a reclamation team, we've lost a pilot, mm -hmm. we're not going down to this part of Texas anymore." Right. That could be cool. Yeah. Yeah. Or. Something related to the nuclear blast in relation to their evil plan of Project Votus, you know, yeah. with the gas and stuff. You know, maybe they're talking about let's drop these, let's create a bomb with this gas and drop it. And they can mention, well, you know, we heard about some situation down in Texas where there were bombs that dropped off and we can't, we don't even want to touch that state or something. There's a small tie into it, you know, mm -hmm, yeah. <laughs> or, or, or they want to investigate it. I mean, look, right. the CRM is obviously about power and. When some when someone else is wielding a nuclear weapon, are you now considered uh, are are you now considering that as a threat? You mm -hmm. know, um, because now maybe you're not the most powerful entity in the United States. Yeah. Or see, as we're talking about this, we're getting more, <laughs> we're getting more ideas. Or maybe one of the very small survivors of Teddy's group, or maybe someone from like Alicia's new group made it to crm has joined them maybe they mentioned the word padre in world beyond like yeah. oh we had a we had a couple survivors from this known community called padre that didn't work out or was something to that effect and they joined us and they're scientists and they told us about this a massive event that happened in texas or something it's it's going to be something small but something that fear the walking dead use uh, viewers should pick up on yeah something tells yeah. me you're gonna have to probably pay attention pretty good yeah to uh, pick up to on pick it. it up yeah, yeah it's gonna be i imagine it's something gonna be very subtle it's gonna be a word or two and as we're you know gonna be watching it we should hopefully see in our reaction like <gasps> like <laughs> <laughs> or maybe afterwards you guys will let us know in the comments that we completely missed it and then when we go back and see it we're like oh my god yeah what's wrong with us pay attention more so yeah guys just want to do a quick video let you know that walking the world beyond will have some type of tie-in to fear in relation to something very small but uh, let us know what you think in the comments of what it could be and uh, we'll have to wait and see here in two weeks as the finale is vastly approaching uh, only two episodes left we'll be doing our reaction for nine and then ten on December we'll release on September or December 5th but we'll see yeah. you a little bit early so yeah. we'll see you guys next time I'm Drill I'm Josh we're Nation. we're, we're out, out.